Daniel's chest. Daniel has a pretty much complete physique. He has a good, you know, a good chest, you know, but I would like for him to work on his upper chest a little bit so it will come out on top and not have that droopy, you know, droopy look. So focusing on upper chest where we do anything incline, that's incline barbell bench, incline dumbbell, even flies. I would like for him to do incline so he can focus on that upper chest part. All right, let's get that warm up in. Also, when you push, because I can see right now, when you push, don't focus on your tries. Try to push with your chest. When you come up, exaggerate. Work the chest. There you go. important thing when people don't focus on the pets even when you in a normal state you know what I mean you already get used to doing this because your shoulder overpower a little bit so anything you do you use a lot of shoulders and I can tell by the way you stand because your shoulders overpower so it's, it's kind of like yes that's why you need to focus on this part right here very important because that gives you that round look and not that way you know what I'm saying you're still young you're still young Still a baby. <laughs> Still a baby. No, no, just warm up one more time. Five reps, but I want you to go five super slow from the bottom. You remember that? Exactly. So super slow. But don't focus on the tricep, focus on your chest. Because a lot of people focus on the tries. On 10 regular or only five? No, only five super normal, slow. super slow reps. Then remember chest high and focus on the pegs, right here. Squeeze from right here. That's it, beautiful. Always focus on the pegs. Beautiful. And bring it on back. Let's do that one more time. Nice and slow. Squeeze the peg. Squeeze the peg. Keep contract. Contract. Full contraction. Now you're working. Keep working just like that. That's a perfect speed. Beautiful. And again. Come on. If you can do five, you're good. Chest up. Exaggerate. There you go. Yeah, slow down here. Don't go too fast now. Peak contraction right there. Beautiful. That's number three. Come on, we got two more to go. Come on now. There's only one plate. You see what I could do with one plate? Focus on the chest. Right there. Right there. There you go. And the last one. Come on. Now, super nice and slow. Take your time. Chest up. There you go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's all chest. All chest, baby. Come on. Come on. You got to go. Got to go. Beautiful, that's it. See what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> you need fucking 400 pounds. You can do that shit right. You don't need that. In three. One, come on. Two, and slow it down one more time. That's it, chest up, 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 that's it, come on, come on. Come on. There you go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Come on. Don't give up. Come on. There you go. Give me three to finish it. Three reps. Come on. One, two, and. Fuck. <laughs> yes.
Every time you push, you gotta squeeze. Okay? okay hold on. Try to go here. There you go. Right. And then come together at the inside. Just, just there you go. That's it. Come on, focus. Chest up high. Come on. Come on. Two. And one. Good. Flies, whatever it is, should all be inclined so we can work the upper pec. Slowly focusing on the upper pec because a lot of people, especially when they start pressing, as soon as they press, they drop the chest, which means that the shoulders will take over 100%. That's why they have dominant shoulders and sometimes weak chest. You know, some people get away with it with better genetics, but if you don't have the great genetics, you got to make sure that when you push, you don't drop your chest. You keep your chest up high at all times. That's the key and that's the goal. See you guys next time. Peace.